Imagine flying down a highway at 144.17 kilometers per hour inside a carbon fiber capsule, powered by nothing but your legs. This is the ETA Speed Bike, the fastest human-powered vehicle ever built. So, how fast can a person really go without any engine and assistance, when every limit is pushed by pure innovation and muscle? To understand this record-breaking machine, let's start with what makes Ida so radically different from anything else on two wheels. Well, the Ida Speed Bike doesn't look like any other bicycle you've ever seen. It's different. Built by a Toronto-based engineering team called Aerovelo, this machine is more spaceship than a street bike. It's long, sleek, and bullet-shaped, wrapped in a smooth carbon fiber shell that slices through the air with barely any resistance. In 2016, Ida reached a world record speed of 144.17 kilometers per hour, or 89.59 miles per hour, making it the fastest human-powered vehicle ever created. At its core, Ida's a fully fared recumbent bike, which means the rider lies back in a low, reclined position to reduce drag. Everything about it is designed for speed. The shell is incredibly aerodynamic, so much so that the bike only needs around 200 watts of power to travel at car-like speeds. That's the kind of energy most people use climbing a staircase, and this record wasn't set with any kind of mechanical assistance. No windshields or vehicles to break the wind in front. It was what's called an unpaced run with just the rider, the bike, and raw human power. The achievement was officially verified by the International Human Powered Vehicle Association, the global authority on these kinds of records. To put it in perspective, Ida's energy efficiency is off the charts. It's been measured at over 9,500 miles per gallon equivalent. That makes it far more efficient than any electric car, any hybrid, or anything with wheels and a motor. But this incredible machine didn't build itself. It was the brainchild of a dedicated team that poured years of effort into its creation. Aerovelo was founded by engineering students turned innovators, driven by a shared passion for redefining what's possible with human power. The team included aerodynamicists, materials specialists, software developers, and cyclists, all volunteering their time outside of classes or jobs. Many had backgrounds in robotics, aerospace, or competitive cycling, blending science with grit. Each component of EDA was the result of trial and error. Dozens of prototypes were 3D printed, tested, broken, and improved. The team ran countless computer simulations, tweaked the shape by millimeters, and worked late nights optimizing every part from bearings to crank arms. It was collaboration at its most focused. But behind this extraordinary record, there was more than just engineering. There was a human story of one rider who literally built the machine around himself. His name is Todd Reichert. He holds a PhD in aerospace engineering from the University of Toronto and co-founded Aerovelo with fellow engineer Cameron Robertson. Together, they set out to prove that human power, when matched with smart engineering, could do incredible things. But Todd wasn't just the brain behind the project. He was also the legs. An elite-level endurance athlete, Todd could sustain over 200 watts of power and peak at more than 1,000 watts in short bursts. That's pro-level cycling strength combined with years of engineering expertise. Before the speed bike, Todd had already made history. In 2010, he piloted the Snowbird, the first human-powered ornithopter to fly successfully. Then in 2013, he and his team won the coveted Sikorsky Prize with Atlas the world's first human-powered helicopter. Both achievements have been considered nearly impossible until Todd and Aerovelo made them real. With Ida, Todd took on a dual role of a designer and pilot. He personally fine-tuned the cockpit layout, the seating angle, the visibility system, and everything to match his body and optimize performance. He was totally into it. And every decision was supported by his crew, analyzing ride data, running simulations, and adjusting between runs. This wasn't just Todd's success, it was Aerovelo's shared vision made real.
Now, building the fastest bike and training the right rider wasn't enough. They needed the perfect place. For Ida and Todd Reichert, that place was Battle Mountain, Nevada. Tucked in the high desert, Battle Mountain offers something rare. It's a five-mile stretch of Highway 305 that's long, flat, straight, and smooth. Add in the high altitude, which means thinner air and less resistance, so you get one of the best environments on Earth for speed trials. Every year, this remote highway transforms into the world stage for the World Human Powered Speed Challenge. It's a week-long event where teams from around the globe bring their fastest bikes and boldest riders to see just how far human power can go. Each rider gets a 1.5-mile zone to build up speed before they enter the official timing section, known as the trap, which lasts just 200 meters. In that tiny window, everything must come together right. But it's far from easy, because the conditions have to be nearly perfect for that. Even the smallest crosswind can throw off a run, a slight drop in temperature affects tire grip, a bug splattered on the bike's shell can cause enough drag to ruin a record attempt. Every second matters, and every detail counts. And then there's that constant pressure. Riders get just one run per day, so if the weather doesn't cooperate, that day is lost. And inside the bike, the rider lies almost completely horizontal, with no forward visibility. Instead, they navigate using a live video feed from a tiny camera on the front of the bike. There's no margin for error at all. You're blind at 140 kilometers per hour, trusting your training, your team, and the machine around you. And then, after all the designing, training, and preparation, it finally happened. After years of building and testing, 2015 was the breakthrough. Todd Riker, with Ida in its early form, reached an astonishing speed of 139.45 kilometers per hour. It was a new world record, and for the first time in history, a human being became the fastest cyclist ever, powered by nothing but his own muscles. But the team wasn't done. In 2016, they came back to Battle Mountain with a completely redesigned version of Ida. The shell was lighter and more aerodynamic. The internal systems were improved for better handling and rider stability. Even the surface of the fairing was treated with a special non-stick coating to prevent bugs from ruining a run. They optimized everything, from wheel bearings to tire pressure to Reichert's position in the cockpit. This time, they were chasing perfection. So, on September 18th, 2016, everything aligned. The road was clean. The team nailed the launch. Todd accelerated through the five-mile course, guided only by his camera feed. As he hit the trap zone, the data came in as 144.17 kilometers per hour. That's 89.59 miles per hour, faster than some motorcycles, and all of it's powered by one human body. It was official. Todd Reichert became the fastest human-powered cyclist in history. The moment made headlines. Wired, Tech Explore, Design Boom, and countless other media outlets covered the achievement. The record was officially certified by the International Human-Powered Vehicle Association, and Todd was overjoyed with his achievement coming true after years of persistence. But this wasn't just Todd's solo victory. It was the result of hundreds of hours of team effort of engineers, designers, and support staff, each one contributing to a dream powered entirely by muscle and mind. And more importantly, it was a victory for what's possible when human ambition meets precision engineering. Wait here, you just watched a world record fall. Want more wild feats of engineering and human grit? Subscribe and join the crew. We've got more speed ahead. So, let's break down the engineering magic that made it all possible. Breaking a speed record like this isn't just about pedaling hard, it's about engineering everything around the rider to fight one enemy, which is air. At high speeds, more than 90% of resistance comes from air drag. That's the real wall holding back speed. So, if you want to go fast, you have to become invisible to the wind. So, Ida's design was all about mastering aerodynamics. Its drag coefficient is less than 1% of a standard car. That's not a typo. Yes, it's less than 1%. 
The biker's outer shell was shaped like a perfect teardrop, the most efficient shape for cutting through air. It was made from ultralight carbon fiber with a honeycomb core, which is strong, rigid, and incredibly light. Every curve and every edge was tuned through computational fluid dynamic simulations and real-world wind tunnel testing. Nothing was left to chance. Inside the capsule, there's no windshield. A transparent window would distort airflow and increase drag. Instead, the rider navigates using a live camera mounted on the front of the bike, with a video feed projected onto a small heads-up display inside the cockpit. That screen also shows speed, power output, and key system diagnostics all without forcing the rider to look away from the road. The drivetrain was just as specialized. The team developed a custom transmission system tuned for ultra-high efficiency, transferring every watt of leg power directly to the wheels. The recumbent position, where the rider lies almost flat, minimizes frontal area, reducing the body's resistance to air and allowing for more effective force transfer. But the bike alone wasn't enough. Todd Riker trained like a professional time trial cyclist, Every gear ratio was carefully matched to his power zones. He trained to produce steady-state power at exactly the right intensity, building his body into a perfect engine that could operate at peak output for the exact duration of the run. It was a dance between man and machine, where precision, preparation, and performance all had to align for one shot at history. So, what's next? Has the human-powered speed limit been reached, or are we just getting started? Well, it's going to be revealed very soon, because the Eta speed bike proves something extraordinary. It proved that with enough engineering, creativity, and raw determination, a person can move faster than anyone thought possible, without a single drop of fuel. But the story doesn't end at 144 kilometers per hour. For engineers and athletes around the world, that number is now a challenge. It's a benchmark in the sand waiting to be crossed. Each year at Battle Mountain, new teams bring new designs. We see better materials, smarter algorithms, and more efficient drivetrains. With advances in AI-assisted design, biometrics, and ultralight composites, the next generation of speed bikes may go even further. Perhaps breaking 150 kilometers per hour or beyond. So, what do you think? Was this the wildest human-powered feat you've ever seen? And what extreme records should we cover next? Drop it in the comments below. I read them all. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the ride, make sure to like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell so you never miss what's next. See you in the next one.